Okay, welcome to Lowdown with Liz Glass from Jones Hollow Realty Group. Today, I have Phyllis Allgood from All Good Real Estate in Raleigh, North Carolina. Welcome, Phyllis. Thank you so much, Liz. It is a pleasure to be here with you today. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you joined me. Uh, so this is our new show. We want to share with everybody and anybody to let them know that there's opportunities in real estate all over the country. Mm -hmm. uh, if I have any clients in New York that are looking to go to Raleigh, North Carolina or the near vicinity, I will be recommending them to you, Phyllis. So maybe you can tell everybody a little bit about you. Great. Well, I've been in real estate since 2006. So I've been doing this for a while. I, I'm originally from North Carolina. So not many of us can say that. Um, and like I said, we, we're here in the Raleigh area. We have a team of 18 agents that work with us. So we service from Greensboro to Greenville and everything in between. So we're here to serve everyone, whether you're relocating to Raleigh, uh, whether you're upsizing, downsizing, it doesn't matter. First time home buyer, we're here to serve all of you. That's awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful. So tell me, what is the best kept secret in Raleigh? What is something that if somebody was thinking about coming to New York? What would you say is a must see or a must do in Raleigh, North Carolina? Oh, Raleigh has so much to do now. And I'll tell you too, Liz, <clears throat> so many people are relocating here because of our weather. You know, in New York, you guys get all that snow and everything. We don't even have to worry about too much of any of that in North Carolina. So when you come here, uh, we have the downtown area. We have a lot to see in downtown Raleigh. We have a lot of parks. Uh, we're not, but about two and a half hours from the coast. So you have the water. And then we're about two hours, two and a half hours away from Charlotte. So we're just in between everything here. Um, we have, a uh, if you're in North Carolina, it's a big college area as well because a lot of sports. We have, you know, North Carolina, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. We have Duke University. We have Shaw University. We have North Carolina Central University. We have a and State University. So, so much to do here in the area, whether you're in sports, uh, you like the museums, you like concerts. We have so much to do here. Well, that explains why a lot of my sellers are going down there. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So let me tell you, if, I mean, let me ask you, if you were not in Raleigh, is there another city that you would recommend? Like if I didn't live in Raleigh, I would want to live here. Well, you know, I'm just biased to Raleigh. So I would stay in Raleigh. However, uh, Charlotte is a very nice area as well. Uh, like I said, Charlotte is about two and a half hours from Raleigh. Uh, and, you know, they're big with the financial industries and a lot of people are moving to Charlotte as well. So that's a really nice place uh, if I had to choose somewhere else other than Raleigh. But I like Raleigh. Raleigh's my favorite. Raleigh. Raleigh's my favorite. <laughs> so what kind, of, um, what kind of opportunities are you seeing in your market? You know, the market's shifting, as we all know. But, um, you know, so many people get that negative fear set in because of the media saying, oh, the sky is falling, interest rates going up, housing is going to crash. We know it is not going to crash, but the market is going to change forever over our lifetime. Houses are going to be sold and bought in any market. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, what type of opportunities are you seeing now? Well, I'll tell you this, Liz, you know, our area is still such a great opportunity. Number one, we have so many people moving to Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, we have so many companies moving here. So we just landed Apple. We have Google. We have Amazon. Uh, there's a large car battery uh, manufacturing uh, facility that's coming to the area. So here's the thing that we do know, Liz. People have to have somewhere to stay. People are going to continue to relocate here. People are going to continue. Their lifestyles are going to change. So, you know, they may need to upsize. They need, may need to downsize. So they have to have somewhere to stay. And to be honest, why pay rent? Rent is increasing in the area. I mean, uh, I just had some clients that were renting. They were paying $1,900 a month for rent. If they renewed their lease, Liz, their rent was going up to $2,300 a month. So yeah. my thing is, why spend that money when you can actually purchase a home? So yes, the market is shifting, but it's all about mindset as well. Because again, we have to have somewhere to stay. And we're going to pay someone. So why not pay ourselves? Why not invest in ourselves versus renting? And, you know, we don't have anything. Uh, so, yeah, the market is shifting. But 100 percent. Say that again. Say that again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have to buy because 
I mean, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna stay somewhere. So why not invest in ourselves and and have something to leave uh, a generation, the next generation? We have ownership. Exactly. That's wonderful. You know, it's it's really a shame because, like you said, there's so many people that are paying exorbitant rents, and they don't realize that their mortgage payment more than likely would be less, and at least they're building their own equity. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's what it's all about. Wow. Let's wow. build this equity. <laughs> that was great. That was great. So let me ask you, what um, what is your favorite, favorite part of Raleigh? You know, you've lived there for how long? Oh, look, I don't want to tell my age, Liz, of okay. course, but I've been here a long time. Look, I'm originally from North Carolina, so my hometown is only an hour and a half from Raleigh. Okay. I went to school in Durham at North Carolina Central University, so I've been around this area pretty much for a long, long time. Well, that's great. So any of my clients or anybody that's listening, if you're considering going down to Raleigh, North Carolina, please reach out to Phyllis. She is going to be your resource. She's going to advise you whether, like you said, whether it's an investment property, a second home, relocating, downsizing, upsizing. And I'm sure you have amazing lenders that you can recommend and please reach out to Phyllis. She will help you. She'll, she will guide you. I trust her. She's an amazing agent that I admire. All good. All good. I can't say all good real estate. That's right. It's all good. And, and that's our motto, Liz, is when serving you, it's all good. So it's all about serving our clients. We love building lifetime relationships with our clients. So, you know, we have uh, your know, client appreciation event. So it's all about serving our clients. So we're here to serve you. So if you know anyone that's looking to relocate to North Carolina, like I said, we service from Greenville to Greensboro uh, and all everything in between. So just give us a call. We'll be happy to help you. Awesome, Phyllis. Can you share your phone number and your email? And if you want to share your um, Instagram, Facebook, we can add this to the bottom of this video. And this way people can easily get in touch with you. Yes. So again, Phyllis, all good, all good real estate. My direct number is 919-630-4068. That's 919-630-4068. My email address is Phyllis, P-H-Y-L-L-I-S at allgoodsolded.com. So Phyllis at A-L-L-G-O-O-D S-O-L-D-I-T.com. Fill us at allgoodsolded.com. And Liz, you would have to ask me for my Instagram and Facebook. And That's okay. You know what? I can add that for you. Don't even worry about it. That's fine. The important thing is that they have your phone number. So Absolutely. a lot of times a phone call, you can get a lot more information a lot more quickly than emailing and texting. And so, but we'll share all your information. Thank you so much for joining us today. Great. And thank you for having me, Liz. It's definitely been my pleasure. All right, Phyllis, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.